Hello everybody, this is me again. Today I will demonstrate with you how I do scan my patient for the iliac vessel. And actually we do this procedure routinely for pre-renal transplant workup. And sometimes when the patient have any arterial or venous abnormality related to the iliac vessel. Okay, now I will start with the patient in subline position with the curved linear profile. I have to check the probe marker. Yeah, this it will be toward the patient head. I will put the probe at the right iliac fossa and move up and down on the groin until I'm over the iliac vessel. We have here toward the patient feet, we have the external iliac artery and here the external iliac vein. Here we will have the internal iliac artery and internal iliac vein going deep and toward the patient head here we will have the common iliac vein and common iliac artery. Now I will add the color. I will start to focus on the external iliac vessel. Now we have the external iliac artery and external iliac vein. Now I will apply the pulse wave to determine the velocity over the artery and to see the shape of the waveform. We have a high resistive waveform, triphasic waveform. In order to adjust the angle and make the waveform more clear, I will move to the linear prop. Because when I use the linear prop, I could steer the color box. Now I'm capable to steer the box. I will remove the color. I'm parallel to the visit. The waveform is cut. I will move the baseline and increase the scale. Now we can see the waveform on the screen, which is high resistive waveform, triphasic waveform with big systolic velocity of 100-14. Now I'll check the potency then really again. Here we have the waveform for the external iliac vein with a slight variability during to respiratory and cardiac pulsatility. Now I will move up. Here we have external iliac artery. Here we have the internal iliac artery. And here common iliac artery. Now I will follow the artery. I will steer the box until we have a good feeling in the internal iliac artery. Here we have the internal iliac artery. Now I will document the velocity over here. I will invert the waveform. High resistive triphasic waveform for the right internal iliac artery with the big systolic velocity almost 130. Now I will go over the right common iliac artery. We have a clear lumen and a smooth wall. No black or atherosclerotic chain. Now I apply the color box. 
as you can see we have a laminar flow for the common iliac artery as you can see we have also nice waveform for the right common iliac artery i will follow the common iliac artery up going toward the aorta i think here we have the common iliac artery the right common iliac artery and here we have the aorta we can see that the change in the diameter even if i angle the probe we can see here the left common iliac artery originated now um over the aorta and also i have to take the velocity for the abdominal aorta now i try to be over the hour the blue indicate positive doubler shape i have to invert that now we have a nice laminar flow for the abdominal aorta now I, i will take the velocity i will remove the color and i will steer until i'm parallel to the vessel i will invert the scale here we have the normal velocity for the abdominal aorta which is 1014 after i finish from the external iliac artery internal iliac artery and common iliac artery and the aorta now i will follow the venous system as i go more distal now i'm over the external iliac vein which it will be in the bottom of the screen then as i move here now i try to get the internal iliac vein i have to steer the box Now here we are over the right internal iliac vein. We can make sure by using the pulse wave and to make sure that we are over vein not an artery. We have a waveform that consistent with venous system. Now I will follow that. until i'm over the common iliac vein now i'm over the common iliac vein we can see that also by color here we have the external iliac vein in the bottom here we have the internal iliac vein passing on this way and when i go up now i'm over the common iliac vein and i will try to follow it till the ivc at the level of the umbilical and as i go up now i think i'm over the ivc i will try to do that with a slight pressure so it will not be compressed and when i compress now it's totally compressible i'm sure now i'm over the ivc i can apply the color then i will apply the pulse wave now we have waveform which consistent with the ivc this how to perform an ultrasound for the iliac visit and thanks for watching us so guys that is it for today and for more videos don't forget to share like and subscribe